Jeremiah 10 and 21, for the pastors are become brutish. The pastors are become brutish. And that's what you see. Why they teach? You, you know, you know the church, modern day churches now, they, they just throw the Bible out the window. They said, oh, who needs a Bible? We need homosexuals instead, you know? They chose homosexuals over the Lord. They chose their own feelings over the Lord. The Lord clearly commanded us to not to be a homosexual. The Lord, the Bible clearly states numerous times that's a sin. That's something you're not supposed to do. Clearly. I mean, there's no getting around that. There's no justifying that, bro. They, I mean, it's clear as day, you know? Some things can be debated, you know, because it might not be so clear or whatever. But that's clear. This says you gotta put him to death. That's how clear it was. It's an abomination. It's a filthy act. For the pastors are become brutal and have not sought the Lord. Therefore, they shall not prosper, and their flocks shall be scattered. And that's why church attendance is at a whole time low. So the Lord scattering right now, ain't he? Ain't nobody going up in there. You got now, now you got people. They, people out here that are sincere, looking for the truth. They coming to us. They coming to other brothers like us. You know, that they know we coming with that knowledge. And the churches ain't feeding people. They more concerned about feeding the physical than feeding the spiritual. We out here feeding people. We giving y'all knowledge. We revealing mysteries to you. You know what I mean? It says, when the overflowing spirit shall pass through should not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Hid ourselves under falsehood. Oh, we're men of the Lord. We're the prophets, and that's exactly what they say. They're the prophets. Oh, they ain't no prophets. They's prophet. What's that, Lord of the Flies in the scriptures? Yeah, uh, that's a Lord of the Flies. The Owls above. That literally means flies buzzing on a pile of shit. <laughs> Let me get it. I can picture that too. Go ahead. So Titus 1 and yeah, 13 to 14. Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn to the truth, but to fear all things appear. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, there is nothing fear, but even their mind and conscience that is defiled. Oh, damn. Your every thought is a fucking wicked. He says they profess that they know God, but in words they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient. That's what I got the chicken for. Lord, so you can't bread live by bread. Last part again. They profess that they know God, but in words they deny Him. They don't even teach the Lord's name. Period. Teaching that you don't, uh, I mean, actually, they reject Hebrew, period, by yeah. Hebrew names, you know? We gotta catch the same act. Not prophesying, you know, yeah. hold hand to hand with the enemy. In works, they deny the Lord. So being oh. abominable and dis disobedient oh, to every good work, reprobate. Being abominable. That's the same thing as being a nigga. What niggas do? Niggas, into, niggas are down low motherfuckers. So you know all them niggas is down, some of them are down low too, man. Professor, you prophets of the world. Oh, yeah. 